Make no mistake about it. This was a cold-blooded murder. Now at five, the high-profile attorney who defended Trayvon Martin's family says he's determined to get justice after a stand your ground shooting in Clearwater. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameson Euler. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Serena Fazan. Wendy Ryan is off tonight. The shooting of Mark Cleese McLaughlin last week, touching off protest and debate about changes in Florida's stand your ground law. Our Sarah Holland back is live outside that convenience store where the shooting happened. And Sarah, that attorney, Benjamin Crump, says this case is different than the Trayvon Martin case. Yes, for one reason, it was captured on video and Crump says that could make the difference between the shooter walking or spending years in jail. We have to say no, this is not justice. Crump insists this video speaks for itself, showing Michael Draca as the initial aggressor approaching Marquise McLaughlin's girlfriend after she parked in a handicapped parking spot outside of a convenience store. It's still ludicrous how you can claim that you're in fear of your life, but yet you approach and start the confrontation. He also says the video shows McLaughlin backing away before Drake had killed him. Crump believes race played a big role in both the McLaughlin and Trayvon Martin cases, claiming if the shooter was a black man, it would have a different outcome. They both were allowed to go home and sleep in their bed that night after killing unarmed black men. That's all my son was doing protecting his family. Any man out there would have did the exact same thing. McLaughlin's family begging the state attorney to prosecute, also calling out state leaders to amend the stand your ground law. At least have the audacity to say that we as a legislature are going to speak to this obvious miscarriage of justice. Drake had told Pinellas County deputies he was afraid for his life after McLaughlin pushed him to the ground. We tried once again to get his side of the story but were unable to reach him. Now, the state attorney's office has yet to receive this case from the sheriff's office. They expect to get it by next week. As for McLaughlin's family, they have set his funeral services for this Saturday. Reporting live in Pinellas County, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. Sarah, thank you. Going in depth now, a big part of this case has to do with the changes in Florida's stand your ground law within the last year. The way the law used to be, if it's clear the shooter escalated the violence, he would not be protected by the law. But now the burden of proof is on the state. Last week, Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri told us the shooter claimed he was threatened, which makes this a stand your ground case. The sheriff saying any incidents from the past are not considered. The only relevant thing is whether the gunman felt threatened. We're going to keep calling the state attorney's office for updates on when they get the case. Meanwhile, you can watch today's news conference again on our website as well as our social media pages.